before we go in, before we go in, this is where the ambulance was, and Newman told him to go around and uh, get the siren going. The dogs are going crazy. The people are going crazy right in this parking lot, right this area here. And uh, but this is the this is the war memorial. This is uh, welcome to my office from 1976 to 1977. <laughs> this is where Newman is trying to find out from Yvonne Barrett's supposed to go up and ask Newman who owns the Chiefs. And that scene was done right here. Right here. Newman is waiting right here. Yvonne comes down the steps here and Paul Newman says, okay, what did he say? What did, how did you say? He goes, I asked him, who owns the Chiefs? And what did he say? Owns, owns. And Newman gets all frustrated and goes up himself and sees uh, uh, Joe McGrath, the general manager, owner. But this is where that scene was taking place, where Newman was standing here. Yvonne comes down the uh, steps here. But if you look way up in the rafters above the scoreboard, that's in right here. I took the shot and it hit the uh, organ player way up in the rafters up there. I never did hit the organist. I can't shoot it that high, but the the, the magic of uh, movie making is um, one shot, nailed him in the head, perfect shot, it, it hit it one take, you know, done for the day. This section right here is when the where the Johnstown marching band played the music. When uh, Ned Brain did his strip tease, they were sitting right in this section here. Now, at this point, I always give the the. the the microphone over to Vicky because this is where Francine this is the aisle way where Francine and Lily after she got her makeover walked down here and at this point right here Newman walked into the into the arena and here comes the Syracuse Bulldogs in and that is Dr. Hook coming in here and this is when Newman put a bounty on Dr. Hook and I can't mention what Newman uh, Dr. Hook said to Newman, but he kind of threatened Newman with his foul mouth, and Newman said, all I can get. And Newman walked into this door here, and the Syracuse team walked into the locker room down there. In this area here during the filming, this used to be a pro shop, now it's the slap shot room, but this used to be a pro shop here, and they had it roped off, rope here, and a rope on that side, and this is where all the liquid beverages were here, all the, the right out that side that door was our lunch wagon where we we had access this is our lock rooms where we could no access the people couldn't get any uh, closer to us where we could walk out that door and have our lunch and peace uh, have our uh, uh, beverages right here and anything we wanted snacks right here and uh, they remodeled now now it's the slap shot room they made in uh, the pro shops gone We are in a, at the War Memorial where the film was made in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and they made this slap shot room inside the War Memorial where the pro shop used to be, and they dedicated to the movie Slap Shot with all the pictures and uh, actors that were in the film. Now this scene here, when uh, I'm on the blue line listening to the uh, national anthem, this actor, he was an actor, and it took us about three days to do that scene because this actor couldn't skate. So once he, he couldn't turn, once he turned, he fell. And once he got to turn, he couldn't get to me because he couldn't skate to me. But once he got turned and skated to me, now he can't stop. So now he turned, skated to me, and now he learned how to stop. And now finally he got his lines out. And actually I was, I was pretty mad because it, I, was, I was trying to listen to an effing song. But uh, it took about three days. And actually uh, Dave and Jeff uh, at one point... They just said that David Jeff just go home, and it was just me and the actor uh, trying to do that scene. But uh, it took a long time to finish that scene. It, it was uh, long days. It, it was really long days to do that one scene. Husband, the goaltender. Hanrahan's husband. <laughs> I said, mm -hmm. husband. Yeah, this is Hanrahan. Um, he was the goaltender of uh, when Newman was in bed with his wife. He, he got so mad that he chased Newman into the penalty box, but he was so small 
they had to build a ramp by the boards so he could run up the ramp to jump over the boards.